Hey guys, what's up? In this tutorial, I will show you how to make smooth 3D cam transitions in After Effects like me. I will upload all the scenes, my project file and also a preset I used in this tutorial on my Discord server. Link will be in the description. If you don't want to miss any new edits and tutorials by me, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm using After Effects uh, version 2023 but you can use any other version as well. So I'm just gonna click that away and open a new composition. I will name the tutorial. For the resolution, I use uh, 2560 times 1440, but if you have a weaker PC, I would go for normal HD. And the frame rate will be 29.97. Okay, this is too full. And here the duration set it to 20 because if you put it too high then it will lag in the composition. For the advanced settings here are my motion blur settings. Okay then let's create it. Make sure you put this on quarter because if we render the preview always in full it's gonna lag. Okay so now I'm importing my clip I want to use. Those are the two clips I want to make the transition with. I will just cut it at this point where the other clip begins. And I will pre-comp this and also pre-comp this. I will mute the layers because I don't want to hear it all the time, the sounds. Next we will add the camera. You have to press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and C. Or you can also go here to layer, new, and then camera. Here's also the shortcut. The two layers we just created, we will set them to 3D. So they will interact with the camera because it's also 3D. I will create a new object. And then make a parent link to the camera. Then also enable the 3D icon. If you're gonna press P, or position, you can change this Z value. As you see, this zooms in, but also this zooms in. I am gonna reset that again. The next step is to push this second clip over the other one and turning down the opacity, just press T and turn it down by 50% so you can still see the clip. You can drag that over the other head, just like this. But you see, the eyes are at a different position. To change that, I will leave it at 50 again, the opacity. Now I'm gonna press R for rotation, and here I will change the Z rotation. The eyes are parallel to each other. Okay, and if we turn up the opacity now again, you can see it's better. You know, it's not perfect, but still alright. Keyframe the opacity, turn it up to 100. Here yeah, I'm gonna turn it down to 0. The position right here, I already keyframed it. If I go in right here, you can see both clips are getting bigger. Press R, Z rotation. By the way, if you want to see all your keyframes, you just have to press U. Okay, so now if we play it, it looks like this. Now just mark the keyframes and pull them apart. Maybe like this. You have to mark them again and press F9. If F9 doesn't work for you, you just have to go right click on this keyframe assistant and easy ease. So now I will go to the graph editor. You have to go into the edit speed graph and now you will see those curves. Just mark them, drag these yellow things together. And to give it more smoothness, click this motion blur and make sure this is enabled, this icon. Now, so you don't see these edges, I will add motion tile. 
increase the output width and height and enable mirror edges. We don't want to see these repetitions, so I will add a vignette, it's one of my favorite effects. For the vignette, I will keyframe the radius. I will also easy ease them and drag the center of the vignette a bit up because as you see right here there is the motion tile repetition again. Create an adjustment layer, press Ctrl Alt Y. Now I will add a Gaussian blur. Add another new object. Also put it to 3D. By the way guys, make sure to save the project. Now I will add a position shake. For this tutorial I will use a preset. The link will be also in the description. Now we have created some keyframes right here. Press Alt and stretch them. Go to the first keyframe with my with the timeline and parent link it to the new node object. Now create a new node object. Also parent link it. Now every time we see the repetitions, we will change the position value. Right here it's too much in the right top corner. So I will change this value out to the center again. Right, everything you do now is just optional. To give it a better look, we can create a CC. For this you need a plugin which normally costs money. It's called Magic Bullet Looks. But you know, there are always ways to get it for free, so you can decide if you want to buy it. Make a solder layer, press Ctrl Y. And add Particular. This is a plugin you also need to download. Click on Designer and copy my settings. I will already apply this. And here we can also change this and see it in the comp. The particles now have the same cam movement as the clips. It's only possible if you use a 3D cam. If you just do your transitions with null objects like this on your clip and drag them to the null, and then you use the scale, the particles are not following. So yeah, that's the cool thing about the camera. To make it more cinematic you can add black borders, search for the effect CC Jaws and add it on a solid layer. That's it, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and if you have any ideas for other tutorials just type them in the comments and here's the result again.